thread that's very popular on the internet. There's a girl who posted on her TikTok or one of her social media pages that she requires her boyfriend to FaceTime her his entire 12 hour shift at Amazon. And this is indicative of somebody who's extremely possessive. And this is somebody who's very insecure and her and her boyfriend is a fool for going along with this. This guy's name is Jose Macias. And, you know, here's the viral image from a FaceTime. You know, his girlfriend expects him to uh, ease her insecurities. You know, she says, he needs to FaceTime me his entire 12-hour shift. Not because I don't trust him, but because I don't trust other females. And whenever somebody says, hey, I need to monitor your behavior, I need to keep track of you in an irrational way, not because I don't trust you, but because I don't trust other people, it's basically, uh, it's, it's a deception, it's wordplay, you know, at the end of the day, that's just a justification for them, you know, that's just a way for them to not look insane, that's just a way for them to hide their insecurity, I mean, why would you need to worry about other females, why would you need to worry about the women that work at Amazon with him, you know, as long as you have trust in your partner you shouldn't worry about the intentions of other people and at the end of the day this allows me to segue into something more important and that's uh, people who feel possessive over their partner have potential have, ha have the potential to commit violence against their partner they view their partner as their object as their possession and once their possession decides that they no longer want to be that anymore that person may act violent you know they have this mentality of if I can't have you nobody will so this guy needs to watch out and um, the fact that he's actually uh, willing to put up with this is is indicate it indicates that either he's young and he doesn't really have any experience or any frame of reference uh, when it comes to relationships you know this may be one of his first relationships and he's just going along with this irrational expectation because he simply wants to make his girlfriend happy and because he's never really been in a relationship before he doesn't realize that this is atypical and this is not usual but you know this is typical when it comes to young relationships you know when you're dealing with two people who are in a relationship two young people they don't really have experience that they can draw from they don't they haven't learned any lessons they haven't made mistakes that they now are wise about you know they're they're basically going through a relationship for the first time in their lives and they don't have any guidance when it comes to that they're just basically acting impulsively and anytime you're dealing with somebody who's this possessive over you you don't need to be with them you know the whole idea of being in a relationship is to relate to another person to add on to that person's happiness and individuality is a must individual identity is a must whenever you're dating somebody you know you must maintain who you are as an individual entity you know and your relationship with the person who you're dating is just supposed it's, it's supposed to add on to who you are as an individual. You're not supposed to delete who you are as an individual and look at yourself as being a duo. You know, you, you can't think of yourself as an individual anymore. You must think of yourself in terms of two people. No, you have to be who you are. You have to be yourself. And if anybody doesn't respect that, you don't need to be with them. You know, the healthy the, the healthy relationships of the world have this one trait in common and that's people value the independence of the person who they're dating they don't have insecurities about what they're doing and what they might do you know naturally yeah we all have fears of being cheated on and being rejected but at the same time you have to allow people to be themselves the whole reason why you were attracted to that person in the first place is because you liked who they were so why would you want to corrupt who they are or you know destroy what they are because you're insecure you know people must be allowed to be who they want to be you know and then bam everything will be fine you can't get mad at people because they don't text you as fast as you want them to you can't try to monitor a person's activity you can't try to monitor a person's friendship circles and uh, you know constantly worry about what this what your what your person might do in a negative way you know if your mind is conditioned to think that everybody out there is up to no good then you're never gonna have a healthy relationship with somebody you know bad things happen people treat each other bad sometimes but at the end of the day everybody deserves the opportunity to be themselves you know that's that that's just the bottom line it's just basic humanity
respect for humanity. You have to allow a person to be who they are. 